This is an early look at the Lenovo CES 2026. Um, I would say the plethora or lineup of laptops from uh, obviously for business types of computing, as well as to consumers, as well as demos and proof of concepts. We've seen different technologies like this before. We've seen some improvements. We've also seen some incredible updates to their lineup. So this is from their gaming. This is from their low rollable laptop, as well as the twist that now has more functional options and voice control than we've had before. So without further ado, let's check out a, uh, well, let's check out the technology from Lenovo for CS26 in this early look. So the first thing I'm probably going to start off with you guys is we're going to talk about their uh, new proof of concept, their rollable displays. They're actually coming out with full force this year. In previous years, we've typically seen one rollable display and one rollable type of technology. This year, we're looking at an upgraded version to what we saw at 2025 CES. This was their rollable laptop that they had in there. We also have an upgraded version of the Twist, which also provides us the ability of not only using it in different form factors, but also have AI tracking and, of course, voice control. The last but not least is the Legion gaming laptop that has a massive upgrade. This laptop starts off with a 16 inch display, but expands all the way up to a 24 inch display with a rollable technology built into this. So three different laptops, three different rolling, rollable experiences. We're going to check them out to see how they're going to make our life even better. And my hope is that they actually do become products that we can pick up. So this is the Lenovo ThinkPad Rollable XD concept. It is a, an improvement into what we saw earlier, or I guess early in 2025, with their first rollable concept. It's a small, very thin, actually the form factor is a lot thinner, but also one of the main things they've done here is that we still have the functionality, except now it actually has a nice little functional option here that enables us to actually just, as you can see here, I press my finger, swipe to the left, and then now the device expands. We're getting that expansive, really nice full form factor. As you can see here, it even goes beyond the display let's go ahead and actually roll it up up there and you can see here how big the display is the biggest difference here is you'll notice is that it's actually rolling from the top it's no longer rolling from the bottom as what you see here on the bottom there is no area where the actual display rolls into it's actually expanding from the back this is the back view of the actual unit itself you can actually see the circuitry there's actually a smaller display that's positioned there. The function of actually rolling it is pretty much the same thing. You put your finger here and you swipe to the right side, and now the actual display comes onto the back of the unit itself, providing us a dual display technology, one on the front and on the back, and the ability of expanding it. The bottom display does not actually show here as that's where the actual display goes in into the mechanism, but rolling it and opening it up on the other side is pretty much a straightforward experience, smooth, very quick, and very quiet, which is very nice. So you're able to take basically two displays together in one and still have the functional options in the back here to be able to control, uh, you know, volume, Bluetooth connectivity, weather, the widget information that you have in there, and then just basically bring them in and close them. Straightforward, just put your finger, swipe away, close it, and you're taking with you this brand new concept. I hope, and I really, really hope that they put this to market as well, because this is one of those really nice things that Lenovo gets to do, is reinvent how we interact with our PCs. This is the Lenovo ThinkBook Plus Gen 7 Auto Twist. And what I mean by Auto Twist is that this actually is a build on what we've seen before from Lenovo that allows us to actually interact with the system hands-free. One of the nice functionalities is also the ability of having auto tracking, and that is a nice function that we can actually turn on in here. Let's go ahead and press the button for it. It activates it, and as you can see, it sees me now. I can turn to the right, I can move around from it, and it actually stays with me. So think of it as a presentation tool. What you're looking at obviously is behind the scenes. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the, the camera function. But the functional option that you get in there is the ability of using the front facing display camera here that is positioned at the top to track the subject. But the nice thing about it is the ability of using your voice to be able to open and even close the actual uh, laptop itself. So the lit is fully voice controlled by just saying, hi Tico, turn right. Hi Tico, turn left. And even just asking it, all the different commands. You can turn left, right, do the auto tracking. You can open it, close it, and even turn it into a tablet mode, which makes it even more functional as far as a computer. Now, this is going to be powered by Windows 11, an Intel Core Ultra Series 3 processor, and up to 32 gigs of uh, RAM, and up to 2 terabytes of storage, Wi-Fi 7. It's a 14-inch uh, OLED panel, a 2.8K display. Obviously, different configuration, 75-watt battery is going to be in there. Um, and of course, a lot of nice functional options in there. But the nice part of it is the fact that at the end of the day, when I'm done, I don't even have to touch it. I can just say, hi, Tico. Close lid. 
and we're ready to go. I'm a big fan of the Legion gaming uh, systems here. Obviously, this is a concept, the Legion uh, Pro rollable concept. It's a proof of concept because what this device can do for you is transform this device right now that has a 16 inch, uh, basically 16 by 10 aspect ratio to all the way to up to a 24, 23.8 inch, 240 hertz refresh rate display. It is a massive display that we're able to play around with, uh, use for different experiences, different uh, gaming areas. Obviously, the camera stack stays at the top. The experience, for the most part, stays very much centered around the laptop, a large trackpad, keyboard, number pad on the right. It's a Legion uh, Pro, obviously, so this is going to be powered by some of the best specifications. Currently, only in concept, but it is going to be featured, obviously, as they're saying us here, it's going to have the 5090 RTX uh, GPU, so this is going to be a massive powerhouse with, obviously, the Intel Core Ultra 9 similar to the Legion 9 uh, i series that we've seen from them before. Of course, to close it up, we just go back and there is actually two step options. The one, the ability from going from 16 to 21.5, which has a smaller step option, although opening up to the 23.8, which gives us the big, large laptop. All of this closes down and of course, still fits into obviously RGB heaven, all of this stuff. I can't wait to see this and I can't wait to have this materialize. It's a little heavier because of the mechanism, but it is a beauty, a beauty, an absolute beauty for anybody that loves having a large display on a laptop and not have to actually worry about bringing in additional options or anything like that. It's just, it's, it is a massive display. Oh my God, I can't wait for this to happen. Now it goes to show that obviously Lenovo is not gonna stop over just by doing rollable laptops. They've upgraded their lineup of laptops from ultra light slim laptops to more functional smaller PC laptop with their all-in-one displays. Um, even an upgrade into their uh, technologies, which now the twist, just one thing that I wasn't able to show you guys, it also has the technology to be able to be connecting to a, a device or a smartphone for remote connection and remote control. Or let's say if you wanna be able to keep an eye on your pets, you can actually do that with this laptop because this is nice and built into their functionality. A lot more com uh, options in there from Chromebook, from Windows PCs, uh, again, for businesses as well as for consumers and as well as gaming experiences. Now, with all of the stuff that I shared with you guys, obviously, this is the beginning of 2026. Some of the stuff is going to be coming out now. Some of it is in concept form. Some of it is coming out later on in the year. But it's absolutely great to see that Lenovo is not only reinventing the technology, but leading the way in the way we interact with our PCs, our tech, our, uh, our laptops, our all-in-one displays, and of course, our, you know, our computing and AI life. Like and subscribe and thank you very much for checking out this pre-CES early look at Lenovo for 2026.